Hey brothers and sisters, I hope you're having an amazing day today. I want to greet you in the name of God, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on notifications for future videos, and also don't forget to leave a comment. And today I'm gonna to be making a video about the LGBT community and a little and their little Queen Bible. And a little disclaimer out there. This is and this is not and this is not me condemning the the people who practice homosexuality. No, I'm not condemning you and no I'm not hating on you. But I don't like but I hate the lifestyle. I hate this the practice of homosexuality. I hate the sin. Just gotta put that out here before y'all go in the comments and say some rude 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 stuff or whatever. And before I go into it to the topic, I'm gonna read from Leviticus chapter eighteen verse twenty two. And it says, Thou shalt not lie with mankind, as with womankind, it is abomination. And it says in Revelation chapter 22, verse 18, For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, if any man shall add to these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Brothers and sisters, again, not condemn anyone who practices, practices homosexuality. But I'm here to give, give y'all a warning because cause I love you. And thing is, I don't want you to suffer the eternal punishment, punishment of hell. I don't want you to go through, through the wrath yet to come. And let's say someone's house was on fire. If you love love someone, then you're warned, right? So I'm doing the same thing to y'all. So anyway, it's the topic. And it's going to be mainly, mainly about the Queen Bible. So anyway, I was watching a video about Gino Jennings. And please know, I don't agree with, with everything, everything it does, but at least he's brave enough to speak the truth. So, I heard that Jesus and Jenny's was speaking about the LGBT community. And also, I heard they, they came up with their own Bible. I'm, I'm shocked. They, they, got, they had the guts to do that. Because we're phrasing the, the word of God, you, you're crossing the line. But anyway... He was basically talking about it, and they were. And I pre and what what he he said, they were, they rephrased a lot a lot of things in the Bible to make this clean Bible. And and next thing, I'm pretty sure y'all saw, he did a Bible in the gar garbage, <laughs> but it was justified. And I heard from it was part of the LGBT community agenda is that they plan on bringing the teachings of the Queen Bible to the body of Christ. And I'm going to speak on behalf of every believer. And that's that's where we cross the line. Not trying to be rude or anything, but keep keep your Queen Bible teachings out of the body of Christ. Like we we do not want it. We don't we do not want your teachings intruding the body of Christ. We don't. Period. Because there's not only adults in the body of Christ. There's also children and teens who try and walk with the Most High as well. And if we were, and if we were to, were to bring, bring that, those teachings to the church. And if these kids are knowledgeable of the Bible. They're going to be crushing, crushing God. Are you allowing this? And if they see a, a drag queen or whatever dancing in the church. The children are going to ask, ask the parents. Um, mommy, daddy. Why is that man dressed dressed like a woman? Why is that that woman dressed like a man? And of course, we don't want that for our children, do we? No. And no, I'm not a parent or anything, but hey, it says it says in the book of Proverbs is to is to train up a child the way you want them to go. And also it says in Ephesians that that parents are responsible for training the, their children up in the way of the Lord and prepare them for their souls for eternity. That's one of the responsibilities of a parent. And if you fail to do that, while God's gonna hold that person, your your child accountable for their actions in the future, God will hold you accountable because you failed to 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 do your responsibilities as a, as a father, father, mother, or father, mother, or husband and wife. And and this and first of all, homosexuality is a sin. God put it out there. Second of all, this is a just go for the LGBT community, but this go goes for everyone, including and including me, everyone watching this video. And it's that 
God's not gonna rewrite the Bible just so just so we can go after the civil pleasures of this world. God's not gonna rewrite the Bible for this generation, nor the last generation, or the next generation to come. God's not gonna do that. And if he did that, he wouldn't be who we say he is today. He wouldn't be the I am. He wouldn't be he would say be internal. It, that wouldn't be consistent with his holy and just nature. So, so no, God's not gonna rewrite the Bible for you. Stop trying, stop, y'all need to stop trying to change the Bible, the meaning and the context of it, just so it, just so you could go after your, so it feels justified to go after your, after your sinful, your sinful pleasures. Stop, stop trying to change the Bible when it's written to change you. Like, yeah, like, let's be real. The word of God is powerful. It pierces, the reason people even change, even rephrase the word of God is because, because it offends, offends them. It can fix them. They get a certain feeling of it. I mean, that's the Holy Spirit's job. It's to a, it's a convict us. Convict us of our sins, of our unrighteousness. And I'm pretty sure pretty sure people, people, people don't want to admit this, but it's the truth. The warnings, warnings to the LGBT. LGBT community community who plan on bringing the, the Queen Bible teachings to the body of Christ. I'm I'm telling you all this. And I'm telling you for your own good. Y'all crossed the line too many times with God. Like I'm being real honest with you. Y'all y'all are stepping on the tiger's t tail too many times already. And y'all thinking that God that there's no dragon that th there's such a, just a tiger. But I tell you the truth. There's a dragon. You may think there's no dragon, but there's a dragon. It just didn't wake up yet. He's not the tiger's the thing is the tiger is just being patient. Patient with y'all. The tiger tigers allow you to step to step on his on his tail. Tail. Because it's patient. It doesn't want it doesn't want to let out his anger. But at some po point, the tiger's gonna get tired and the dragon is gonna come out. The dragon, you're gonna, and you're gonna end up suffering the dragon's wrath, and not, not in an outrageous way, but, but in, but just the dragon's wrath, wrath, because he, he needs to, he needs to bring his justice. And just like God, you may think God's all loving, but God is a God of wrath who must punish sin. And God is holy and He's just, and He doesn't, and He can't even, and His eyes can't even look at anything impure. Anything sinful, and he can't allow anything sinful or evil in his presence. Nothing, nothing sinful can come into his presence. That's why when Adam and Eve sinned against against God, they they basically they were basically separated from God, cause cause they rebelled against God. They could no longer come into the presence of God. They were kicked out of it, and that's what sin does. Sin does. That's why that's why they don't. The world doesn't know who God is, cause of sin. And we and you, I understand. I understand y'all love God. I get it. But and and know this that God loves you. But he doesn't. But he doesn't doesn't like your sin. He hates your sin. He hates your unrighteousness. He hates your sinful lifestyle. That, that's that's the thing. And and God is patient. He's merciful. But when rephrasing the word of God is is really crossing the. Crossing the line with God, and I'm pretty sure y'all done it too many times already. Ready, with the children, one of them being the children. That's one. That's another thing. And God, lo I tell you this: God loves children. Oh, guys, brothers, sisters. If this video didn't come to your feet by coincidence, if you're watching this video and you're still here. God is calling you to to turn to, turn for you, from your sinful lifestyle, turn from your wicked ways, and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the thing is, you try you try to live with God, and at the same time be homo homosexual, but it's not gonna it's not gonna but it's not gonna work. It don't work with that, and 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 we can't be lukewarm with it, lukewarm with God. We're either in or we're out. Just only in between. And, and I understand whatever you went, whatever you went through, I don't know you got, you got molested or you got sexually abused or wherever the case may be, wherever you got through it, I understand that you're using your practice homosexuality to cope, 
cope with it. But you but it's not it's not the it's not the right way. You can't find healing through that. The only way you can get healing is by coming to the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you want to let y'all know that Jesus loves you. And he doesn't want you want you to remain want you to remain remain tra traumatic. He doesn't want you to remain hurt. He doesn't want you to remain broken. He doesn't want that for you. He wants you to live he wants to heal you. He wants to bring fulfillment, purpose in your life. He wants to bring meaning to your life. He wants to do that. Do that, And most of all, he doesn't want you to go to hell and suffer eternal punishment. But he wants you with him in heaven. He wants you wants a personal relationship with you. And how, how, grace, how grace, great that sounds. Jesus was willing to die a horrible death for you. So he won't have to, have to go through that eternal punishment. Or do, or live a life void of purpose and meaning. This man lived thirty years of life. He was perfect; no wrong was found in him. He was God in the flesh, and he chose to die a horrible death for you because he loves you, brothers and sisters. And through him, we could be redeemed and reconciled, reconciled to God. And through him, we are declared righteous in God's sight. And we could have a personal relationship with him. And the thing is, we can't we can't live be righteous by our own strength. We could try, but we we can end up falling short. That's why that's why we need Jesus in our lives, and we and we need the help of the, of the Advocate, the Holy Spirit. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, we can live that righteous life that God calls us to live. Brothers and sisters, it ain't, it's not good to rephrase the word of God. It's not good, and it's sinful, and you're provoking God to, to to His wrath. And also, homosexuality is sin. But the truth is, God loves you, even though you're going against Him. And always, and He's inviting you to come as you are. You don't need to get right or anything, but He wants you to come come as you are. And I promise you, He'll heal you. Heal you. If you could do it for me, I struggled with lust before, and you delivered me for that. He could do that for you too. Anyway, that's all I got. Do pray this video helps you on your walk with Christ, or anyone that's struggling with 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 their sexual with their identity as a male or female. And I do pray this helps you, oh Lord, guys. Don't be religious. Follow Christ.